Let us now do the activity on page 6 entitled, Remember Where the Edges Meet. In the picture, it shows the earthquake distribution around the world. The dark areas are the earthquake epicenters. And now, let us trace the earthquake epicenters in the plastic cover. Make it sure that you trace it properly. The next picture, it shows the Earth's major volcanoes. The dark dots are the active volcanoes. This time, let us proceed to the next picture. The dark areas here represents the mountain ranges over the world. Okay, so this time, let us now trace using a red pen 
the mountain ranges over the world. Let us place map 1, which is the distribution of earthquake epicenters over the world. Then after that, let us place map 2 over map 1. Then, how do you compare the location of majority of earthquake epicenters with the location of volcanoes around the world. Sorry. And now, let us place map 3, which is the distribution of mountain ranges over map 2. Then, how will you relate the distribution of mountain ranges with the distribution of earthquake epicenters and volcanoes? Now, that you have seen the location of volcanoes, mountain ranges, and majority of earthquake epicenters, what do you think is the basis of scientists 